Finally, over 1.3 million Indo-Canadians are thrilled to hear the news regarding Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's contact with Indian Prime Minister Modi. Commentators say it could be a turning point in relations between New Delhi and Ottawa. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau on Wednesday reached out to Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and requested a shipment of COVID-19 vaccines. PM Modi later took to Twitter to say that he was happy to receive a call from my friend Justin Trudeau. He added, assured him that India would do its best to facilitate supplies of COVID vaccines sought by Canada. We also agreed to continue to collaborate on other important issues like climate change and the global economic recovery. The Trudeau government has faced criticism in recent weeks for its handling of the vaccine supply. Conservative MP Michelle Rempel posted a video on her Twitter while talking to Canada's Minister of Public Services and Procurement. Has uh, the Minister or the Prime Minister phoned uh, Prime Minister Modi to ask if we could get vaccines from India? Well, thank you for that uh, question. I am in a regular communication with organizations and countries around the world to secure doses of additional vaccines. Thank you. Have we phoned Prime Minister Modi? I personally have not phoned uh, Prime Minister Modi, and I can't speak for anyone else in our government. Thank you. Does the minister know if the prime minister has reached out to the Indian government? I do not know. Thank you. She doesn't know. That's Frightening. Later, two more Conservative MPs, Warren Stanley and Michelle Cram, joined MP Rempel asking Canadian government to approach India to seek COVID vaccine supply. I am joined in with Mr. Rao, who is the president of Hindu Forum Canada. I welcome you, Mr. Rao. Hindu Forum Canada was campaigning a lot in terms of convincing Canadian politicians to contact India to get COVID vaccine from there. Finally, Prime Minister Trudeau contacted Indian Prime Minister regarding this matter. So how do you see PM Trudeau's decision? First of all, we thank Honorable Prime Minister, Indian Prime Minister Mr. Narendra Modi for trying to help us to supply vaccines to Canadian government. And we are very happy to see Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has called India and reached to Prime Minister Narendra Modi, uh, forgetting appeasement of extremist elements, and uh, finally decided first comes is Canadian citizens who needed vaccines. Until today, he was not trying to contact Modi because of pressure from the other elements. Conservative Party MP Michelle Rappel Garner, who took a bold initiative to educate our current government. India and Canada are great friends for all seasons. We hope this division element can't derail our relationship. Long live Canada, India, friendship. So uh, recently, Conservative, as you said, that Michel Rampale actually uh, did a tweet which was viral. How do you see that this viral video has caused this um, action, actually? First of all, what happened is, uh, since Michel Rampal questioned Anita Anand, the minister, that day we saw it, there was no response from the Liberal government. And we decided to mobilize and we contacted Michel Rampal and we forwarded the tweet. So it went viral all over the world. And this caused the Liberal government to contact Indian Prime Minister. So how do you analyze, how do you see this event actually, the whole thing, what what that uh, actually make you think about? No, finally our Prime Minister realized that appeasing extremist elements uh, will not serve the purpose for Canadian citizens. So we analyzed this is a very good initiative and hopefully this will bridge the gaps between Indian government and Canadian government. Thank you very much for giving your opinion to us today. Thank you. I'm joined in with Dr. Shivendra Dvidi, who is the national president of Canada-India Global Forum. 
I welcome you, Dr. Dividi. Would you welcome Prime Minister Trudeau's decision to contact Indian Prime Minister Modi regarding COVID vaccine supply? I, I certainly welcome this, and in particular, uh, you know, it's it's nice for the prime our Prime Minister to finally put our national interests first before p political considerations. It's about time that this government started to look at the what is important in our national interest of looking at what the interests of the Liberal political party are. So we are witnessing cold relations between both countries in context of PM Trudeau's statements towards Indian farmers' protests. So will that uh, coldness disappear in this context of Mr. Uh, Trudeau's recent contact with India? How would you comment on that? Well, I think that remains to be seen. I think what's more important for people to realize is just look at the difference in the, how China and India have responded. Uh, to remind your, your, your listeners and, and, and viewers that Canada first approached China to buy the Chinese vaccine. We were supposed to get a million doses. And then when it was time to do phase three clinical trials to test the vaccine, China put the condition that they will only be sending those vaccines to Canada if Mr. Trudeau released uh, Ms. Meng, who's being held in, 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 in her, for trial for extradition to the US. On the contrary, India, despite having uh, these issues with, with our prime minister, our prime minister making uh, ridiculous statements concerning internal matters in India, a situation where India's diplomats have been, have been uh, threatened and the RCMP has been asked to provide extra protection because of, the, because of the issues going on in Canada, the Indian prime minister, Mr. Modi, has, has promised the prime minister that India will do everything in its power to help Canada in this moment of crisis. That's a true friend. And it shows how and why India is the trusted ally that Canada should be courting, not just in, 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 in this matter, but in all matters, whether it comes to political, uh, economic uh, and military security. So do you think that this is a very, very positive sign for all Canadians and um, Canadians generally uh, standing in global perspective? I think it's a, it's a wonderful sign. It's a wonderful sign. The response from the Prime Minister is, is very magnanimous. Mr. Modi has been in a very magnanimous manner. He, he, you know, he could have been petty and said, you know, looking at the, your reactions in the past, you know, we will take it under consideration. He said nothing of that kind. So in that regard, I think it's, it's very, it's very um, encouraging. And hopefully Mr. Trudeau will continue to put national interests ahead of petty politics. I thank you very much, Dr. Davidi. It's been very nice to hear your comments today. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you for watching Behind the News with Halima Sadia at Tag TV today.